I feel most of the time like an elephant not walking on the water but on China <laughs> because we have this proverb that elephant walking on China that breaks everything and sometimes I'm behaving like that. Uh, but watching the watching watching the poster and special especially watching the woman sitting on an elephant something like watching far away somewhere in front I think uh, that makes me something like perspective dreams or like these associations. Euh, bonjour, je suis Anne-Sophie Bailly, je suis très heureuse d'être à Venise avec le film que je présente avec mes trois acteurs, Laure Calami, Charles Pecha Galetto et Julie Froger. Euh, le film s'appelle Monde inséparable, My Everything en anglais. Euh, c'est formidable d'être ici pour un premier film, c'est formidable d'être ici en étant femme réalisatrice et je suis très fière de nous et j'ai très hâte de vous le montrer. Dunque, questa immagine secondo me è bellissima perché ci dà l'idea della libertà. Io penso che il futuro sia di un cinema libero, quindi noi abbiamo bisogno di tantissime voci, di tantissime voci di nuovi autori, di nuove autrici. Questo è uno spazio fondamentale il Festival di Venezia perché dà occasione a nuovi autori, a nuove autrici o a gente come me, cioè un po' matta che sperimenta, di fare vedere delle cose in cui magari il resto del mondo si riconosce, perché gli artisti, le artiste, i poeti, le poetesse, scrittori, scrittrici, cineasti e cineaste, sono tutte delle persone che in qualche modo si espongono, no? tirano fuori delle storie in cui il resto del mondo magari si riesce a riconoscere e quando uno si riconosce sente come di essere a casa. Ecco, noi andiamo verso il futuro, liberi proprio per accogliere. No, we're really happy to be here. We're thrilled to. Uh, it's the first time we actually get to go to uh, to come to Venice for the festival, even just the the town. So we're just uh, pretty thrilled to be here, and it's like uh, that's pretty amazing, right? Yeah, I mean that's the oldest festival in the world. We're so happy to be here. It's uh, it's also the first time. Uh, I mean, we've been in such a big competition with uh, one of our movies, so it's. Uh, even more of an honor, I guess. And it's a very French movie, so uh, the fact that it's been selected in an Italian, so international festival, that's, that's amazing for us, really. It means that it uh, talks to people, so that, that's great. <laughs> what awaits tomorrow, today, I would say the future is today already, uh, is to be uh, creative and to reinvent itself. I am uh, so excited to, to, to see the, the film of Amos. I didn't see it uh, for the moment. It's uh, It's, uh, I don't know, it's like a dream to be here. He told me that uh, he wanted to be here with this film. We are here. Okay, that's nice. I like it. I like him. I mean, if the elephant knows to walk on water, maybe we can know to make good films. So let's speak to the elephant. I, I like actually this image this year. And uh, it's what, it's like supposed to be India or what the colors? You don't know? But I think it's nice. Elephants are sweet. But you know, the elephants are in a risk of extermination because we only want this. We don't want their beauty, the way they walk in the savanna. So the, they will be destroyed. And it's the same, the same problem with, with the cinema. The same problem with cinema, that it is destroyed by people who only want our ivory and they don't want us to make good films, poetic films, make us think, uh, to be interpreters, not consumers. Allora, guardando l'immagine di quest'anno, mi viene da pensare che il cinema ha ovviamente un potere magico, che è quello di proiettare il nostro pensiero e anche un'immagine mentale che abbiamo e farla diventare realtà. Vedendo questa immagine mi, mi viene in mente che attraverso questo lavoro potrei dovermi trovare a salire su un elefante e dovrei essere in grado di farlo in una maniera credibile. Quindi se mai dovessero chiedermelo, dovrei essere in grado di salirci e di far credere allo spettatore che io sia cresciuto su un elefante. E questa è una delle cose più magiche che si possano pretendere dal cinema, di creare un immaginario fantastico al quale siamo costretti a credere. Io spero che l'elefante ci porti verso un mondo che non è quello che vedo intorno a me, un altro mondo.
Beh, il film, il cinema è in grado, può essere in grado di farci camminare sull'acqua, ma essendo in una città come Venezia anche farci camminare sotto l'acqua, eh, sotto le, pali, le palafitte degli edifici, quindi che cos'è no? andare invece sotto in profondità, in questa profondità acquatica, ma nello stesso tempo misteriosa e che ci rivela un punto di vista totalmente diverso sul reale. Io penso invece ecco, che da questa immagine possa darci un'ulteriore immagine, no? cioè di andare oltre da quello che è reale e in qualche modo darci anche un altro sguardo delle cose per poterci salvare. I was very inspired by um, a lot of cinema, uh, a lot coming from Italy and France, but I'm very inspired by this too. My, my series is about water coming into our life. And this elephant is walking on water, which I find very hopeful. Such as the city of Venice is very hopeful. You created barricades to live with the water. And there's, there's a, a beauty and optimism in that. I also like elephants because I like speaking about the elephant in the room. Does that expression, is that expression used in Italy? You say what you're not supposed to say because it's in the room and nobody says it. Uh, I consider that my job. I did it w w already when I was four years old. There was a, a, a drunk guy in an auto bus and he took my older sister's seat and nobody dared talking about it. And then I punched his shoulder and I said, You're stupid. Because everyone wanted to say that. And he slapped me and the police arrived. And my father went into a fight with him. But I was really proud. <laughs> and I kind of enjoyed it. And I got addicted to talking about the elephant in the room. Um, the message is there's no message. So just mostly enjoy it. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, um, it's a different, it's more of an experience. It's something... Uh, Uh, I just hope you have fun. Enjoy it. Hello, Venice Film Festival. I'm Nicholas Holt, and I'm very proud and feel very happy to be here with my film, The Order, which is premiering tonight. I hope you like it. Hello, Venice Film Festival. I'm Journey Smollett. I'm so excited for you to see our film, The Order, premieres tonight. Ciao. Mwah. Enjoy. I think, I think cinema makes us walk on water in a way that takes us out of a reality at times and makes us hope and reach for something amazing and something magical. Hey there, I'm Ty Sheridan. We're here at the Venice Film Festival and we're here for the movie called The Order and we're going to see it tonight. Exciting. Ciao. Venice, it's wonderful to be back here. One of my favorite places on earth. Great film festival. Thank you for having us and uh, see you next time.